Hi, time for Tech Tuesday and some unboxing and a first look at this, the RB5009 series router from Microtik. If you want to see all the detailed specifications, go and watch the video I'll put a link to from the company, Microtik, in the description below. Now it'll give you the details. I'm going to give you my first reaction here, a little bit of a first look at this device and also what I expect and hope to do with it. Very important. Read, read, read the layer. Power brick. Can't get the power brick out. It's a power brick. Let's get straight to the juicy stuff. Oh, yes. Look at that. I like it. it. It looks and feels nice. So the box tells me that this designed in Latvia and also built in Latvia. So this device is actually manufactured and made in Latvia. So if you're interested, in, for example, in buying a product from Europe because, I don't know, you just want to, well, this one is made in Latvia. Feel straight away this very big solid piece of aluminium on the bottom that as the marketing spiel says, helps dissipate the heat. It's a giant heat sink, so the chips inside mounted on here. Uh, yes. I don't know, what do you think? Check it out. That looks quite nice. I have to say the design is quite good. In my use case, I'm actually thinking about not mounting this in you know, a, a rack right now. I might do that a little bit later on, but there's that big heat shrink. Uh, heat shrink? <laughs> heat sink! Uh, yeah, there we go. That, that looks kind of fancy with the design, but I'm sure it's also very, very good at dissipating heat. Nice. So, round the front, what do we have? Well, actually, that power brick I showed you, it can plug in uh, down this end. <laughs> and then there is the SPF Plus port, USB 3. I don't know what sort of throughput I'm going to see on that USB 3. That's definitely something I'm going to test in the near future. So if you want to see me do more with this Microtik router, the RB5009, well then hit the subscribe button because I will be installing this into my home. And well, the first step is going to be just seeing if I can really plug in and play. So I'm going to take a very basic approach to this. I just want to plug it in, see if it works out of the box, kind of plug it in, turn it on and just have it work with minimal configuration. I don't know anything about the router OS from Microtik and I will later on tinker with the device and do some more advanced settings. But the first step, plug it in, see if it works and then I'll do some speed tests on some of the various ports, see how it works with a USB 3 device on, kind of like, you know, well, as a file server. I know that's not the best setup, but I want to see what sort of throughput I can get. So again, if you're interested to follow along what I do with this device and discover how it all works, well then press that little subscribe button. But there you go. There's a little bit of a first look up close and personal to this Microtik RB5009. So as I was trying to say here, you can plug in the power brick in here, but also on the side, you can also put power in there as well. So there it is the Microtik RB5009 router. Thanks for watching. I'll do another unboxing sometime soon.